have our friendly infantry and MRAP who are engaging. Eight tenths for everyone in five seconds with some heavy gun run support. The so we did do some damage, one technical down. We have a bombing run on target. We'll call it in right here on the wall. It's gonna be 20 seconds. All right, what's going on guys? Welcome to War Room Afghanistan. The devs were so nice to provide me with an early access copy of their game and I'm also allowed to give away three demo copies of the game. All you have to do to be eligible for this, I guess, sort of giveaway is to just leave a comment in the thing below and then also mention your discord username or a twitter handle or any way for me to contact you outside of youtube because sadly enough youtube doesn't really have a well great way to do a giveaway with that being said let's get into the game i've actually been really enjoying it though at the moment the save game thing is a little buggy and for me it might just be a resolution issue Whenever I sometimes click on text, it gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller, and smaller to the point where I can't really see it anymore. Uh, but like I said, it is an ex early access build, and the devs were so keen to, or so nice to give me one uh, ahead of time. So the game is mostly played from this perspective, where you're basically hanging over the battlefield. And you definitely can get into some RTS perspectives where you're actually seeing the troops fight. Uh, this is mostly done through drone footage. We have to send drones to areas and then you can actually view what's going on. Uh, call in artillery, call in airstrikes. Uh, initially here, it's just a tutorial level. So we just got to go around and we click our, click our main base. It's very much a management simulator as it is a war game, I suppose. You got to make sure your base is secure. You can't be just bombing out villages randomly. As it says right here, you're not only here to defeat the enemy, you're also here to uh, basically win the hearts and minds of the people. So we're going to select a route for the patrol. They're going to take, let's do, let's do route one because it's going to close the base and they're actually going to go through two villages here in the area. So we'll confirm that. And then on the fence, we'll have one light infantry. As you can see, a little bit of a glitch there, which is happening happening to me quite a few times, where the text gets smaller and smaller every time I click on it. So hopefully, uh, it won't be too much of an issue. Initially, the Taliban forts have been detected hiding in old bunkers. We're going to assign some units. So we'll send an MRAP, some light infantry, and they're going to attack this position over here. Now we're going to go, obviously, uh, speed up the time a little bit because these guys are going to drive out. This actually might be the uh, patrol. Actually, no, this does seem to be the attack force. We do have a patrol going out here at some point. That's them, and they're going to be driving around the area. Now, if you wanted to, later on in just a few steps, we're actually going to get drone access, I believe, after they complete this first objective. And then you can actually send a drone to either go to a town or a village, let's say this town or this village, or uh, you can also send a drone to follow units on the battlefield. That way they cannot be ambushed as easily. And it will basically allow you to also keep an eye on what's going on. If they do get ambushed and there's a drone flying over, you can actually intercept the enemy attack forces with fire support. Let's take a quick look at the combat. The enemy has quite a few light Taliban fighters. Obviously, though, uh, we did send some vehicles over here and quite a few infantry. We are winning decisively, as you can see, they are getting absolutely hammered. So we can speed this forward. They completed that. We have not had any KA, it looks like. Our mission was successful. We got some improved sets over the area, and all the enemy units were KIA. Now, we can send in a drone after we take a look at the unit management screen, you can see that the infantry we sent out to actually go on the attack or on patrol are um, a little less than 100%. Their stamina is going down. So we're obviously going to have these guys come back to base. Uh, the patrol guys are still fine. They're at 70. They can go out there. We'll send a drone. The drone is going to fly from base. And when it actually gets to the location, we can see what's going on. And we can actually see the top-down perspective. Let's uh, go full speed. I guess we might as well take a look here if we can. As you can see, this is the drone view. We have uh, an MRAP, a couple of infantry, and uh, some Humvees. 
There's no support available because they're not under attack currently, but if we wanted to, and there, if they were to be under attack, we could actually call in support, A-10 strikes, cluster bomb runs, artillery, and you can also switch between regular thermal and night vision views. Now, we don't really need to worry about this too much because, uh, you know, there's not really much for us to see here. So we'll back out, we'll go full speed ahead, and we'll wait for them to come back to base. Now, it does say that we have to reconnoiter and check areas for enemies, we have Shiraz, we have Doa, and we have Nav Bidak. Let's send a drone down here initially, because it's the closest to base. I'm kind of surprised because I assumed these guys would have come past it a few times, but uh, maybe not. It's a little laggy right now. All right, let's switch to thermal. We have uh, a couple of foot mobiles. These guys do not look like they are armed. They just look like regular villagers kind of hanging out, not doing anything uh, weird. So what we'll do, we'll call our drone back. And then when it's back, we'll send it to another village. We'll probably send it to this village because it's the furthest away. We only have two drones at our disposal right now, so we're going to have to send it back to base, get it refueled, and then send it over to the village of... I believe this was Shiraz. Yes. All right, we're sending the other drone in. Our alpha team has ran into... Okay, we did lose some people. This must be... Okay, we'll cancel their order. That must have been the patrol then. They ran into an IED down here. But they are now going back to base. And hopefully they are not too wounded. We'll send... Uh, we'll actually do a new hearts and minds. We'll send light infantry times two and we'll send those to the village of Dawa because we saw there wasn't any uh, any enemies over there but you don't know until you double check it out as you can see the text is a little bit glitching out here and there sometimes I did say that it's a little bit annoying but it is a early access build so I kind of just been dealing with it it looks like we again have just normal civilians kind of standing sitting around not really doing much on the area seems to be all good we'll do we'll return the drone and then we'll check out nav bedak uh last but not least we'll speed up again our patrol should be back at base and no enemies found at the village of dawa we'll send a drone to nav bedak and then we'll keep an eye out for what's going on over here okay it does say there was enemies so let's not assign just yet. Let's take a look at this village. Let's see. Drone. Drone feed. Let's take a quick look at we, what we got over here. All right. Looks like we got quite a few enemies. Uh, we even have some vehicles by the looks of it. These just look like technicals. We have some light Taliban fighters, Taliban pickups, and some villagers actually uh, nearby. So we kind of want to not go too ham sandwich. We're obviously going to have to send in some troops to uh, engage the Taliban in that village. So let's see, we'll do village, no. Mission, assign. And now here comes the thing where the text is, gets really small and I can't really read what I'm sending in. So we'll just send everything I just sent in there. The drone is still gonna stay there as the units now are going to head over there. And I believe this other unit is going to go down south. That's the uh, the guys I sent. We'll just send a drone with them. That way they are going to be safe in case anything happens. We can hopefully call in some support. They're going to go on a Hearts of Mind mission. Hearts of Minds? Hearts and Minds mission down there. Now the cool thing is, if I slow this down in time and we check out the drone, like I said... As you can see, really cool, my guys are actually moving on the map, which is actually what most impressed me, um, was that I can actually physically see those guys, my reinforcements that I gave them, mission. I can't zoom out, I can't look up more, but I gave them the objective to come to this town, so we'll back out real quick, and we'll speed it up just a little bit, because they're about to be in range. Let's get into the drone feed. Now we have access to support. We do need to watch out though, because there obviously is civilians nearby. It looks like let's get the A-10 to do a gun run through to see. Uh, almost said civilians through the enemy technical. We have our friendly infantry and MRAP who are engaging A-10 straight everyone in five seconds with some heavy gun run support. Let's 
Sorry, did do some damage. One technical down. We have a bombing run on target. We'll call it in right here on the wall. It's going to be 20 seconds. 20 seconds before that run hits. We'll do one more attack run across this building. There is definitely some more contacts here. They do look armed. Obviously, if you're not armed at this point, what are you doing over there? You're just, you know, asking to get shot. Is that something that's weird, bad to say? Maybe not. Yeah, it looks like they moved off that target. The drone's about half fuel. We'll switch off the thermal. We can get a good run. Bombing strike incoming. It's going to be a good run, hopefully, here on that target. Took out both technicals. A few infantry were remaining. They've just been eliminated. We're going to leave the town. We're going to send the drone to return to base. And we managed to... Take, we did take a few casualties, wounded in action, but we took out all of the Taliban fighters. Let's send a drone to go back to them. And they have almost reached the village here for the um, Hearts of Mind mission. We're sending this drone there basically just to provide security in case any IEDs or anything happens. The drone might have eyes on and that way uh, we'll basically be... Oh, we need to actually switch these guys out and get a new group of infantry to be on base defense. There we go. Let's also make a... It's starting to be really hard to read here. I actually can't read what that says. I have good eyesight. I actually have 20 over 10 vision. But even I can't read that. All right, we'll send a new patrol out. We do have the hearts and mind mission right here. Trying to find a drone. There it is. Check out the drone footage on his other village. Looks like our troops have reached the friendlies. Or I guess I suppose I should say civilians. They've reached the civilians area is secure. We're on a hearts and minds mission. Uh, let's actually go in there and uh, return the drone. And if we can, we'll actually return the infantry in the village. Cancel order. Okay, we're going to send them back. Whenever the drone's refueled, we'll send them actually to cover that patrol that's coming back. Hearts and Minds mission, I guess. Uh, I, could have, I could have left them there longer, but I felt like just sending eight infantry there is kind of scary. It's a little bit weak. The game has definitely sparked my interest. I saw some footage on their steam page with black hawks uh, it really reminded me of operation red wing at one point you see like a black hawk get shot down by rpgs there's a lot in this game that i think would be something i'm very interested in right now as you can see there's definitely a few bugs here and there it might just be my resolution it might just be a bug that i haven't um, read anything about with that being said i would like to thank the devs for uh, allowing me some early views into their game and to give away some demo copies for you guys to check out the game for yourself. For now, we're going to call it a day. We're definitely going to be coming back. Hopefully my save mission works. I'd love to see you guys in the next one. Cheers.